about five years ago, I started this program where I said, let's gather some of our top composers in the country. We will work with them and we'll match them with some of the very experienced composers in terms of orchestral language. So we did this program and I'm glad that major works have come out of this project. My inspiration is I have always been a choral music lover and I've always thought that I could write music. When I listened to the music of the Handels and the Haydn's, especially the choral music, I was really, really inspired and I wanted to have something in my language that could stand alongside those great composers. What we are experiencing here today is one of those very rare gems that you can only find in KZN and we are very proud to have composers like a Kunsela Smith. The choir was brilliant, the soloist is just so wonderful, the music, the orchestra, not to mention the conductor uh, Maestro Maxim, he's one of the best conductors uh, to have come into South Africa. He's one of those extraordinary characters and it's been a wonderful day. The music is beautiful. Um, the soloists are phenomenal. Yeah, very good. Uh, very they, good. They've, they've went from one standard to the highest now. So we're seeing young stars like that performing such great music, it's very blessing. It's blessed to me. It's a wedding ceremony between two families. And the reason I chose it is that it's a very moving ceremony. We had difficulty in getting a maestro to conduct the work until Mr. Robert Maxim came to the scene. I asked Professor M. Simong for this poem because I wanted to write this piece. And I wanted to write a piece that was going to be relevant for all Zulus. I also think it's very important that when you have a, a piece with such poignant, such, such relevance, that the, the Western person who is involved respects the indigenous component entirely. <laughs> So this is particularly gratifying because we have made a statement. I mean, Mozart and Beethoven is great. We grew up on Mozart and Beethoven, but the people here, they don't relate to it the way they do to this sort of music. And so you're, you're establishing your own serious music culture in a way that people will hand down from one generation to the other. I'm very proud. I'm very proud of Bongani, Embe, he managed in the post-apartheid era to sustain this orchestra and it seems that it's growing from strength to strength. Mm -hmm.